this Simon is going to be the exec decision. Give me the Green Bay Packers. Wise guys are leaning this way. I'm leaning this way. The trends are leaning this way, going against home faves in the division. The Vikings offense has its moments, but you said something really important earlier. They don't have the talent at quarterback to have enough of those moments. That's my take. That's what the wise guys are thinking. I'm not afraid of the Vikings blitz against Jordan Love. This season, one area where he has been really good is against the blitz. Okay. Give me, give me Green Bay Packers, exact decision. Yeah, I was going to say, I, I I would need I need to look more into. Um, full honesty, I actually haven't done this game. Uh, I don't I haven't modeled this one yet, but, um, you know, give me a break. Yesterday was Christmas. Uh, Dude, you're allowed. You're allowed. <laughs> Listen. I love well, this. I, is, I, I only missed three games, and this is one of them. But um, looking at this one, my initial reaction was to take the Vikings just because it's like Green Bay's defense can't stop anyone. I mean, we literally just saw Bryce Young put up his best career game of his life, and it was all in the second half, right? He did nothing the first half. It was all second yeah. half, all those numbers. All second half. Um, Green Bay's defense has been really bad here down the stretch, and – that is the fear, but I think Chad just said it. It's like if I look at the numbers and Jordan Love is all right against the Blitz, this Vikings team is very beatable. I mean, they've been playing so above what they should be because they have really good coaching on the defensive side and offensive side. Um, you know, just an incredible job by that whole coaching staff. Just talk all the time about how important coaching is in the NFL, how big of a difference it is between these really good teams who are consistently in the playoffs and these teams that just – have to hire a new coach every three to four years, like the Chargers. Um, it's just – there's some teams that just can't get it right. Um, the Vikings nailed it. Like, they're coaching so good. But Chad said it. Like, the the talent-wise, it's not there for them. And this is essentially a playoff game between these two teams, right? Like, both these teams need this game to make the playoffs. Um, Chad's right. Like, I, I like Green Bay as well. If you're scared of the number – Another game, just like the Cowboys last week, throw it in a teaser. Like, they're giving you the one and a half, put in the six-point teaser, and now you got Green Bay seven and a half. I can't see a world where they can't at least cover seven and a half Green Bay here. Like, they're just – the back door is always going to be open this Vikings defense. Again, it's the team that's just held together with sticks and bubble gum. They're just – it's crazy. They're at this point where they can still make the playoffs, yeah. um, playing their fourth different quarterback uh, this season. It is bizarre, but – I like the play, Chad. I'm with you on Green Bay. Hopefully the sharp calls match up what you're saying here. Because I haven't talked to anyone that's backed it yet, but I'm looking at it in our app right now. It's It looks like the money is coming in on uh, Green Bay. So Chad, Chad's probably right on this one. It probably is the professional side. I will tell you, Simon, the level of gratification I get when you agree with what I say is um, completely uh, – inappropriate for a man of my age and accomplishments. <laughs> I should not get that much satisfaction when you, when I feel that you genuinely agree with me or when I feel that I am genuinely predicting exactly what you're going to say. It's totally inappropriate. I'm happy uh, as well. Cause like last week was a nightmare scenario where it's like, I don't want to be on opposite sides. and I don't want to be mean to you, but it's like, when you said the 49ers, I tried to be as gentle as I could. And I just kept saying you're on the wrong side and that's as nice as I can be. Um, cause people know I have a little bit of mean streak in me, but I've gotten nicer over the years. Like I just, I try to view it from all, all vantage points. I know that if I kill child kindness, maybe he'll come around to my side rather than trying to bully me <laughs> to be on my side. Oh my God. You're the best. You are the fucking <laughs> best. 